Hey everyone, it's Armado. Um, I haven't spoken directly to you in a while, and uh, I thought I'd share something with you that's kind of fun. There's all kinds of data and analytics and numbers available uh, on a variety of uh, aspects of music distribution, um, although not as much as you might think in certain areas. Uh, for instance, I'm able to get a lot of uh, what they call spin reports and data on uh, plays and rankings. Uh, in Europe, it's harder to get those things in the U.S. I'm not sure why, um, but uh, I, I, I check every now and then, and I put together the Drummer Loves Ballads by the numbers to share with you today very quickly, um, and I want you to, to stay tuned until the end of the list because I promise the last entry is going to be worth it. Uh, so just he, he, for what it's worth, here are uh, the numbers as they stand now. So the, the data tells me I have 3,560 fans of the Drummer Loves Ballads across a variety of social platforms, Facebook and Twitter, et cetera. So thank you to all 3,560 of you. Um, the data tells me that I have had 2,300 spins. I love it that they still call it spins. Uh, among European independent music radio stations. So that's a lot of airplay, um, at least compared to what I, th I thought we might get. So that's awesome. Uh, Spotify is by far the, the leading uh, streaming platform. Uh, and I've had uh, 1,141 streams on Spotify. So thank you to everyone who's been streaming. Hundreds of stations, I don't have an exact number, uh, worldwide have programmed the Drummer Lowe's Ballads for airplay. Uh, uh, that's worldwide, and that's pretty cool, uh, especially uh, because some of it includes my hometown station, uh, KCUR, KKFI in Kansas City. Thank you, hometown stations, uh, for programming the Drummer Lowe's Ballads, but it also includes stations like Abbey 104 in the UK. So that's pretty cool to be across the pond with uh, with the music that we made together. 743 streams of the Drummer Loves Ballads on Apple Music. 338 people have watched the animation of the Prelude track on YouTube. Uh, so that's really cool. I hope more of you watch it because I think you'll enjoy it. There have been 187 streams of the album on Amazon Music. And here's uh, a couple pieces of information I didn't know until today when I started digging around. Um, the song Make Me Rainbows featuring Wayne Hawkins uh, from the album uh, ranked 194 on Amazon Music the day of the release. So that's pretty cool. The album itself ranked 121 on iTunes the day after the release. Um, and so that's pretty cool as well. 43 people have used their um, smart device to request uh, the album be played. So that's Alexa and those sorts of devices. So that's pretty cool. Uh, 21 is the most recent rank for the song The Shadows of Paris on the Euro Indie uh, charts, which includes hundreds of stations in 60 countries. If you've been following along at all on Facebook or Twitter, you've been seeing um, that that's a pretty frequently updated chart. And that song uh, is by far the most popular song on the album across all the platforms and has done particularly well on the Euro Indie charts. So we're top 25, so that's pretty cool. Um, there are 15 specific countries that I have data on where the album has been streamed. So I wanna say thank you to everybody who has listened to the Drummer Loves Ballads in Austria, Brazil, Canada, France, Germany, Hong Kong, Hungary, Israel, Italy, Japan, Romania, Sweden, Turkey, the United Kingdom, and the US. There have been seven reviews on Amazon, which I'm just infinitely grateful for, especially since all seven of them have been five-star reviews. Uh, so those are nice numbers as well. Here's the last number and my perhaps favorite of them all. One guy named Igor in television has streamed something off the album 52 times. 36 of those streams have been the orchestral track Prologue to Paris, which is the Brahms Third Symphony excerpt that precedes The Shadows of Paris. So um, this is not a joke. Uh, the data gives the screen name of the user and the frequency uh, of requests uh, or streams. And so Igor, I wanna thank you there in, um, in Tel Aviv for listening so much. And clearly you and I are both big fans of Brahms. So that's a little uh, Drum Loves Ballads by the numbers I thought I'd share today. 
um, and, and because I thought it was fun, especially with Igor coming in at number one. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>